Hey, what's up? I'm Katherine Newton. I'm an actress, and what you might not know about me is I play a lot of golf. Am I any good? You be the judge. Well, I realize golf can be a little scary, so I'm here to give you a few tips so you can play like a pro. Let's go. So, it's a beautiful sunny day and you've got an itch to play golf. Now what? First thing you should do is call the pro shop and make a tee time or register and do it online. And if you call the pro shop, you should tell them what time you want to play and how many holes you want to play. And generally, you can choose between 18 and 9. But let's say you play 9, you're allowed to quit after 6. And if you sign up for 18, you can quit after 12. Nobody's stopping you. Just have a good time. But as far as making your tee time, you got to be a little flexible because around the holidays and the weekends it gets kind of busy but they'll try their best to get you on the time that you can play. When you're making your tee time, you can tell them if you want to ride in a cart or if you want to walk. Some courses only allow you to ride on a cart and I prefer to ride in a cart when I'm practicing because I can hit a couple more shots but when I'm playing in a tournament I like to walk because it keeps me focused. Some people like to drive the cart because it's fun and other people like to walk because it's good exercise. Just know that some courses insist you have to take a cart. So it's always a good idea to ask about the walking policy. If you can walk, you might not have to carry your bag because some places let you rent push carts. Some courses even have caddies if you want to be super fancy and you can pay for one for an extra fee. There's also usually an extra fee for renting a push cart, but your back might think it's worth it. 